In response to the tragedy of World War II, people from the town Reggio Emilia developed a new model of education. War ought to never happen again. Led by Loris Malaguzzi, a teacher, their idea was to enhance a child's learning through real-life experiences instead of a fixed curriculum so that each child develops a love for discovery, forms a personality of their own, and learns to respect others. Land, money, food, and skills for the first preschool were provided by the community. The Reggio Emilia approach is based on the philosophy of an image of a child. All children are viewed full of potential, with an innate sense of curiosity and endless imagination. They are creative, capable of constructing their own learning, and they have a natural interest to explore. While they follow their own interests, they also stay connected with others. Adults nurture their learning by providing a rich environment and support. Instead of a one-size-fits-all curriculum, Reggio Emilia uses a child-centered approach and project-based learning. Projects can emerge anytime, for example, during play, Teachers can observe and create opportunities for new learning at a specific instance. For example, by opening up new environments, letting children raise thought-provoking questions, or by inviting others to collaborate. After an intervention, the children take control and progress independently until the project is finished and can be shared with others. Throughout a project, children naturally embody the spirit of researchers risk-takers, designers, and explorers. They make hypotheses, try new things, investigate, play, and imagine. To progress, the explorers raise the questions, the researchers give feedback, and the designers demonstrate ideas and prototypes. Lastly, they all turn their theories into reality and construct experiments together. The learning becomes social, with endless ways to solve specific problems. To promote the development of creativity, teachers step aside and let mistakes happen. The conflicts that can follow nurture their social skills, because conflicts teach children to speak, to listen, to argue and to discuss, then learn to accept different opinions and to respect others for who they are. If two kids discuss a problem, a third can have an idea, and the entire group learns the value of teamwork. Teachers document projects through pictures, videos, or written observations. The learnings become visible in photographs, drawings, or sculptures. Ideas, quotes, and transcripts of conversations are put onto the walls. The children can later revisit their achievements, see projects that were left unfinished, and learn that failure is part of the path to progress. They build confidence in their own abilities. But teachers aren't instructors. Instead, they are companions in the child's own journey of discovery. They can introduce books, show new tools, or offer entirely new perspectives. However, they always remain mindful not to take over the constructive learning process, knowing that this limits a child's endless imagination and motivation. The children are fully in charge and develop a sense of ownership of their own progress, the foundation for a love for lifelong learning. Malaguzzi believed that there are 100 languages children can use to express themselves. They paint, sculpt, drum, whisper, and hark. They build, listen, speak, or sing and dance. And they play which Einstein allegedly said is the highest form of research. Children learn from adults, other students, the environment, which is regarded as the third teacher. Rich in materials, the space is designed to spark curiosity, creation and discovery. Ideally, there is an open kitchen and big windows so the children can see what's happening outside, just like at an Italian town square, a piazza, where we can observe the lives of other members of our community. Parents are regarded as the last part of this education. To deepen their knowledge of a child-centered education, they are encouraged to learn from and with the teachers and children. So, when the children come home after school, 
they can continue to be researchers, risk takers and explorers. Malaguzzi once said, stand aside for a while and leave room for learning. Observe carefully what children do and then, if you have understood well, perhaps teaching will be different from before. Maybe one day our small researchers and explorers will grow into the big inventors and great explorers. Millions of students from all around the globe have watched our Sprouts videos for better learning. Thousands of teachers play them in their classrooms to start projects. Volunteers on YouTube have translated them to over 25 languages. Our mission is to promote learning by doing in classrooms around the world. If you are a great explainer and a passionate teacher and you want to help us develop outstanding content, contact us. To support our channel with a donation, visit patreon.com/sprouts.